Okay, this is internist conversation number seven. Internist comes by and says, hey, Pete, how's it going? I said, other than my wife filing for divorce, which is going to cost me tons of money and not getting invited to any of the, you know, confer con you know the conferences this summer for nutrition and stuff, yeah, everything's going great. And he's like, well, I hope you're going to continue with your YouTube channel. I'm like, well, I don't know. My wife yelled at me about that too. She said, why do you do all this nutrition stuff? You don't make any money from this. You could be moonlighting, making money for this family. And, you know, actually she's right, but I already work full-time in conventional medicine. I don't want to do that every single day. There's more to my life than that. I really like this nutrition stuff. Internist, your YouTube channel is a good thing. You should keep doing it. It helps people. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I like doing it, you know, and uh, hardly anybody watches my videos, but my channel, I know it's shadow banned, but it's still a good thing. You know, I, I've kind of enjoyed doing it. I feel good when I'm doing it. Internist, well... You know, it's a good thing. Yeah, McDougal and you and the other vegan doctors, you guys have figured out how to prevent or cure about 70% of all the disease. You know, he says, at my stage in my career, I've been kind of frustrated, you know, and give all these pills and patients don't get better. And so it's nice to see all this stuff where people are getting better. He says, it's big. And he says, you know, McDougal looked up all the papers, saved the legacy of the early guys like Kempner, Burkett, and Pritikin. You helped out and you figured out some of the biochemistry mechanism disease and brought in other stuff. That that biochemistry mechanism stuff helps to convince doctors. And you you know, you brought in your stuff about the brain and the spine. I'm like, well, thanks. Internist, I'm having a hard time convincing uh, my patients to try the vegan diet. They usually want to do stuff halfway or not at all. And that halfway stuff, it doesn't work. Uh, me, it's like the St. Augustine quote. I believe in order to understand. They have to believe in it enough to give it a try. Because I know the patients are all confused by the contradictory information they hear on the internet. I would tell them to just try it for two months. If you tell them to, they must switch to vegan, they're going to lock their heels in and not do anything. But you tell them just for two months. And, you know, check their weight, blood pressure, cholesterol before and after. Explain to them how to satisfy their hunger with eating starches. Internist. When they actually follow the diet, they actually usually do make progress really rapidly. I got a lady in her 40s. After just six weeks, she dropped her total cholesterol from 230 to 160. That's 70 points, you know. Um, I had another guy who lost 25 pounds in two months, and he feels good. He's real happy about it. It works great when I can get the patient to actually do it. And I'm oh, one thing I thought about was that, yeah, it's not the same as what you hear, you know, Dr. McDougall talking about or Dr. Esselstyn because the patients that go to McDougall and Esselstyn, they're self-selected. They want to try the Esselstyn diet, the McDougall diet, whereas the patients that just go into a regular internal medicine doctor's office, they're, they're not expecting to be told they have to do the vegan diet. So they're not already self-selected. They're not as motivated.